Hi babies, this is Gitika here and since now we're all locked into our houses so I thought it's the best time that we can sit and listen to some interesting stories. So um, you can also follow me on my Insta handle. It's called Hobby Lane by G. So I'll be putting up a story every alternate day and maybe some activity that you can do. And in a few days, I'll also be coming up with some craft videos that you can easily sit home and make do with, you know, basic supplies that you have at home. All right, let's get started. So today's story is about a penguin. Well, I have a little penguin here. So let me start by telling you something about penguins. Yes, babies, you all have seen a penguin, right? In pictures, in movies. Well, a penguin is a bird. It has wings, just like other birds, but penguins can't fly because they use these wings to swim in water. They use these wings to swim in water and penguins live half time on land and half time in the water. So naturally, they, their food is mostly fish and any other little sea creatures that they can find in the sea, in the water. All right. So, all right, let's get started. Now, the title of my story today is Penguin by Polly Dunbar. Now, that's the front cover of my book and this is the back cover. Every book has a front cover where you have the title of the book. And that's the author. The author is a person who writes the book. Polly Dunbar. You can also watch this story on YouTube if you like it. All right, let's get started. All right. Now the story is about Penguin and a boy called Ben. So Ben ripped open his present. Inside there was a penguin. Hello penguin, said Ben. What shall we play, said Ben. But the penguin said nothing. <sighs> All right, can't you talk, said Ben. But the penguin said nothing. Pen tickle penguin. So we all like to be tickled, right? Tickle, tickle, tick, tickle. So, but the penguin didn't laugh. Ben pulled his funniest face for penguin. He, but the penguin didn't laugh. Ben put on a happy hat. And sang a silly song. La 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 la. And he did a dizzy dance. He went round and round and round and did a dizzy dance. But can you see the penguin? The penguin still didn't laugh. All right. Will you talk to me if I stand on my head? Said Ben. See? Ben is standing upside down on his head just to make the penguin laugh. But the penguin didn't say a word. The penguin still didn't laugh. So Ben prodded penguin. How do you prod someone? Penguin, are you there? So he's prodding the penguin. And blew a raspberry at penguin. <laughs> How do you blow a raspberry? Can you all blow a raspberry and show me? <sniffs> well, we all love to do that, don't we? All right. Ben made fun of penguin. <laughs> Look at the penguin. Well, even that didn't make the penguin laugh. So Ben imitated penguin. Can you see? Ben is trying to copy the penguin. The penguin is standing like that and Ben stood like that. So Ben is imitating penguin. Means he's trying to copy penguin. He's imitating her. A new word for the day. All right. Well, I think Ben was losing out on his patience. So Ben ignored penguin. Penguin ignored Ben. 
They are ignoring each other. See, Ben's looking that way and the penguin's looking that way. So Ben fired penguin into outer space. Whoosh. Penguin came back to earth without a word. So penguin was quiet even after that ride on the rocket. Whoosh. Still nothing from penguin. Ben tried to feed the penguin to a passing lion. <gasps> Can you see that? Ben is trying to feed the penguin to this lion. Whoa, that's a blue lion. Has anyone seen a blue lion? What color is the lion? Can anyone tell me? Yes, that's right. That's the color of lion is brown. Well, here it's blue. So he tried to feed the penguin to the passing lion. Whoa, what a brave penguin. Still, the penguin said nothing. The lion didn't want to eat the penguin. Ben got upset. <laughs> Can you see? Look at his faces. Look at all the crying faces that he's making. He is so upset. He just kept crying. But still, the penguin said nothing. Whoa. So, he's making a lot of noise here. And he got a little more upset and he said, say something. What did he say to the penguin? Please say something. Oh, the lion seems a bit angry. And he's crying. Whoa. Oh, lion ate Ben for being too noisy. <gasps> what happened? Who ate Ben? The lion ate up Ben. And the penguin is still watching. Hmm. Oh, look at that. He's eaten up Ben. Hmm. Yummy. A lion seems so happy after eating Ben. <gasps> the penguin bit lion on the nose. <gasps> what did the penguin do? He bit the lion very hard on the nose. Whoops. <gasps> Ow! said the lion. Wow! said Ben. What happened when the lion opened his mouth? Who came flying out? Ben. And the penguin said everything. Can you see how the penguin started talking about everything that happened in the book? About him getting a present, about him opening the present. Here he's standing on the head. He's standing upside down. How he passed him to a passing lion. And the penguin did not want to eat. The lion did not want to eat the penguin. And then about how he put him on the rocket. And here how he was imitating him. And whoa, look at all that. And this is all that the penguin finally spoke about. And so, Ben... And Penguin were very, very happy and they became good friends. So I hope you all liked the story about the Penguin. So do leave your comments on the comment box. And also if you want to read any other story, do let me know that as well. Thank you. Thank you for watching.